Whew. 29 degrees it is out here today, 29 degrees C. I've got to start digging these rest of this fence posts out. Shouldn't be out, I shouldn't be doing this. I'll see you in a minute. Sunday afternoon. I've been out this morning to a uh, an auto jumble. I bought an old set of scours to refurbish, so that's coming up on my Retro X channel. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, and I've just been on Roy's the Boys live stream. I thought I'd pop up there. I said I would do, but uh, I've done about 10, 10 minutes on now, I suppose. So I've had to finish with that, and I've got to come out here and repair this fence that goes all the way along there. I've done a lot of the stuff down that end, as you probably know in an earlier video, but this stuff here is a, sh is a let me show you. These posts over here are uh, literally sagging back as well. So I've chopped all the weeds down. These weeds were up to about here, <clears throat> all the way over here. And uh, I've cleared all them now. So I'm gonna start clearing around the post area because of the concrete base I've got to get rid of. And that's gonna be hard work today. So I'm gonna probably put you on time and that's for that. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, well, as you can probably see there now, I've um, dug down probably about a foot there, and we've now hit the concrete base, and the post, as you can see, was up to there, but it's actually rotted away below that. If I move that, you can see, look, probably see the movement in the post down there, so I need to put one of my concrete spur posts along here, which means digging through this concrete, and the way I do that is with this metal concrete picker it's just a basically a big spike and I just basically break the concrete up and then start taking it out in, in chunks until I've broken all this concrete base up so I'm gonna carry on and do this Okay, there we go. I'm not going no deeper than that, that's deep enough. I'll put the post in, lay it against there straight, and then when it's all dry, dried off the cement, when I put the cement in, I'll pull this post back in line with the straight post, and that then in turn should straighten the fence up. Hard work in 29 degrees centigrade heat. Doing here. Slow a ball joint now. Oh. Not a ball joint. It's on the track rod on the drop link. All right. Fresh one. Not a ball joint. It's a pain in the ass to do. Yeah, no, tell me about it. Is it free bolted job? Is it, Charles? And I think them ones on there are rounded. Are they? Nice sometimes one. they're um, not bolts, are they? There. You have to drill them out. I think sometimes. Yeah, I think that's what these are going to have to be. Did you get the pinch bolt out that one there? This that's here? That's what I'm doing now. That's a pain in the ass. Yeah, I know. You want plenty of lube on that? <sighs> oh well, I've got to dig some more cement. Have you found my breaker bar? No, only the little one. No, that's not the one, is it? 
29, no, what was it? 29 degrees out here. I've got to come out now and get some sand anyway, so let's get over to the sand pile. Pity those people who work on the roads doing road work. All right, let's get some cement in here. Oh. All right, that do. Give that a bit of a mix up. There we go. Two lots of beer doing this sort of stuff. It's four o'clock in the afternoon now. I've just been popping in and having a cold drink of water. And also having a look at Roy's, the boys live stream, which uh, I was on earlier on today for about 10 to 15 minutes. Anyway, let's get this over to the, uh, the hole, get the post in place, line it up, and then we can get inside then. Whew, too hot out here. All right, okay, let's get this post in now. Oh, heavy, heavy old concrete thing, this. There we go. Right. <clears throat> now, got to get this in the correct position, you see. Find out how far the fence is leaning over first. Fence is way off actually. Look at that. That's how much the fence is off. So, get back, Bison. That wants to be somewhere. Somewhere like that. So, I've got to get the bottom in first to the base. Like that. Gary, see if we can get Gary around here to backfill while I uh, hold it in place. All right, if I hold this in place, can you shovel some stuff in the hole? Let me get it straight first. How far out it is, look. Something like that, I think. Let me just get it in the correct position. All right, about there somewhere. Try and get some around the back first. Shows how far it was, not it? Oh yeah.
Well, as you can see, the post is straight, but you can see how far the fence is leaning over. So uh, once this goes rock hard, I mean, it's, it's hard now, but uh, you don't want to fix the post back. The moisture in the ground sets the cement, cement, cement within a couple of days, so that'll be fine. And then we can drill holes through these uh, existing holes there, right through the post, get some studding, and then pull the fence back. And then that's that one done, and the rest can be covered over with earth. So yeah, that's solid as rock, I'm happy with that. Quickly have a pop outside to see what Gary's up to. Right, he's having trouble getting out the, the bolt from the, where is it, where's it gone? The one that goes through there into the clamp. He's having trouble getting that one out, so I'm just going to have a little quick look, see if we can uh, make any progress for it. Oh. What have we done so far? You back, got... back nuts like loose. Right, have you tried hitting the nut? I've tried drifting it through, but not budging. I don't know if I need to get a socket on it and try and wind it out. Have you tried it? No, that's what I'm at now. You've penetrated it. You tried giving it a few bangs with the hammer? Yeah. The actual joint itself? Everything. Yeah. Right, I doubt if you'll turn that. The thing that's stopping it would be uh, corrosion. <sighs> yeah, they can be a pain, these. So, as you can see, he's put the new track rod in uh, on. And as I thought, the three bolts that hold this on, they give you three bolts, don't they? Yeah. To put back yeah, in there, yeah. but these ones have been riveted in, so you've got to grind them out on the old one but that bolt is really seized in so i'm going to be giving it a few knocks and taps and all that i can't really show you it to be honest with you so uh you have to bear with us what time do we start this job just getting this bottom ball joint out hour maybe even hour and a half <sighs> finally out that is why i don't like doing bottom ball joints it was one that was crimped in and we grind off the top, the, the top, the top and the bottom, and try to drift the thing through, and it's taken us this length of time to do it. Unbelievable. That's why I normally let garages do these changes. No fun when you're lit in this sort of situation doing it on the floor. You want so you want your van or car or whatever up in the air doing them. So we've got it off now. The new one. Where is it? Oh, I can't move. It's back so stiff. The new one goes straight on, but this time, when it goes in, it just goes in with bolts, nuts and bolts. So, that's where we're at. We're going to say ta now, because I've had enough today, and we'll see you in the next video sometime during the week. And until then, bye for now.